We would like to welcome Barney Rosenberg, who is the Corporate Ethics Officer for Megat PLC. Uh, Barney, I, we have a question, and, and it's something that everyone kind of thinks about, is what do business students need to know, from your perspective, about business ethics as they start their career? Students starting out in business need to understand that everything they do is going to be viewed under a microscope by customers, by regulators, by uh, employees, and by each other. And we, we hold ourselves uh, and each other to pretty high standards. And that's what this is about. It's setting those standards uh, so that everybody, regardless of what country they work in, what language they're most comfortable speaking, starts from a common premise that this is how we're going to conduct business. And we do that because uh, we want people to go home at night after a hard day's work and feel good about what they've done. We want people to, to be able to, to live out the standard that if what they did appeared on the front page of the local newspaper or on the internet, uh, they would feel good about telling their kids or their parents or their spouse that that's what they're about and that's the kind of work they do and that's what the company stands for. Barney, what is the difference between teaching business ethics in the classroom and teaching concepts and principles and what students really need to know when they take a job with an organization? Tough question. Uh, I guess the answer is it's real life. It's careers, it's reputations. Uh, it takes a lifetime to create a good reputation and it can be lost in minutes through bad decision making. And uh, knowing that there are consequences to the actions that we take, I think makes all the difference in the world uh, to people's uh, aspirations and their goals for themselves and for the impact that they could have on the lives of coworkers and on businesses generally. What advice would you give uh, to say business ethics professors or those who are simply integrating business ethics into their classes? Uh, what advice would you give them to uh, prepare students for the real world of business ethics in an organization? I'm going to challenge the academic world. Uh, I, would, I would love for there to be some sort of contest to find a word to replace ethics in the curriculum. Ethics becomes so value-laden and so uh, uh, you know, tainted is, the, is probably a good word with religious overtones that it sometimes pushes the conversation in directions that make people uncomfortable. I don't know what that word is yet. But I think there is one that describes uh, the values that we bring to the workplace and to the, uh, to the global marketplace. And, um, you know, maybe the prize would be I'll come and do a guest lecture in their class. <laughs> uh, but I, I think that's what it's about. It's, it's the globalization of business that has to be done in a context. And that context reflects a set of values that should be common but are not yet across all businesses. Uh, Barney, thank you for joining us today and sharing your insights about bridging the world of uh, teaching business ethics in an academic environment and uh, comparing that to what might be needed in a work environment. Thank you very much.